Hey everybody, okay, um, back with another video today, and I just want to say, since, you know, everything is coming out about the child traffickers and the, um, you know, the bad people that need to be taken down, I say we take down all of them, including the people who are not only involved, but the people that are profiting, um, from what is happening to these kids so I'm gonna jump right into it and let's start today's video human meat found in this McDonald's meat factory okay this is on Family Health Freedom Network you can't see that but let me Family Health Freedom Network okay let's just see what this has to say There's been a lot of controversy in recent years regarding the food served at McDonald's. However, the latest speculation about the meat this famous fast food chain uses exceeds all expectations. A report which contains a shocking audio confession by a man claiming McDonald's uses human meat as a filler in their 100% beef hamburgers, along with proved facts that McDonald's has been accused of using worm meat fillers, was published recently. This report impelled food inspectors to investigate the matter further and allegedly find human and horse meat in the freezers of an Oklahoma City McDonald's meat factory. Inspectors also found human meat in several trucks on their way to deliver their burgers to the fast food restaurants. Okay, they found human meat in several trucks on their way to the fast food restaurants to deliver the food. There are reports which suggest that upon, inspe upon inspecting McDonald's factories and food restaurants throughout the country, food authorities found human meat in 90% of the locations. Across the country, 90% of the McDonald's had human meat, while horse meat was found in 65% of the locations. In the, world's FBI in the words of FBI agent Lloyd Harrison, for Hustler, the worst part is that it's not only human meat, it's child meat. The body parts were found across the U.S. factories and were deemed too small to be adult body parts. How disgusting <clears throat> is that? Okay, let's keep going. As far as cannibalism goes, it originated thousands of years ago. In fact, there are a few tribes today that still practice it as a cultural cult. Sadly, cannibalism is also present in the modern world. In 2013, a North Korean man was sentenced to death for killing his children for food. In America, the people who supported eating human meat, Jeffrey Dahmer and Albert Fish, were proclaimed insane. Now, it's expected of McDonald's fast food restaurants to give answers to their consumers. How long has this... Hold on. How long has this human meat been used? Where did these children come from? The McDonald's facilities are under thorough investigation and authorities are hopeful to have all these questions answered as soon as possible. What you can do in the meanwhile is avoid these places and their food altogether. 90% of the McDonald's across the country were found to have human meat. Children's human meat meat in their food we have to protest we have to boycott nobody should be going to mcdonald's and getting their food we talk we talk about putting all these child traffickers away mcdonald's and the people who own mcdonald's may not be i mean they may be involved in the trafficking and in the involvement of <clears throat> you know, what happens to these kids. However, if they're not, they still are profiting from what is happening to these kids. Okay, and people cannot, people just can't be okay with that. We have to do something about that. Now, in the article, it talked about a man claiming that this was happening, okay? I have that audio clip and I'm going to play it for you right now. So here is the clip of the man claiming that McDonald's uses human meat. Let me 
I don't know how this is gonna sound on here. Is Rabbi Abe Finkelstein or Finkelstein, one or the other? All right, I'm gonna play the audio clip and just listen. Listen to what this man says. Okay, so let's just recap on what we just heard. 300,000 children a year, okay, these people take in, they use up, they torture, they do what they are going to do to these kids, and then they get rid of the kids, gr grind them up, and serve them and sell them as meat to a bunch of different places. Did you hear him? McDonald's is one of their biggest clients. He says everybody is eating their kids for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. Admitting that McDonald's meat has children in them. So, could you ever eat McDonald's burger again? knowing that there was, you were eating pieces of children. McDonald's has to be protested against. People, we have, you cannot eat their food. Like, they are profiting off of these child traffickers and their torturing of children, their killing of children, they're keeping it all secret, and they are selling their meat to McDonald's and other fast food chains to, to get rid of what they have done. They, profiting off it is just as bad as doing it. We have to protest and boycott McDonald's. Nobody should be going to McDonald's at all anymore, period. Because if that was your child or your grandchild or your, you know, little sister, your little brother, and you knew you were eating them every time you took a bite out of that burger... Could you ever eat again? Could you ever eat there again? Something has to be done. We need, we're, we're going after these tri traffickers and these pedophiles and these people that are torturing and killing kids. We also need to be going after the people that are profiting off of it. Um, so I want to make this video because people have been saying things about McDonald's for years. But with all of this stuff now coming into light and more and more people waking up, it needs to be brought back up again, and something has to be done about it. 90% of the McDonald's f were found to have human meat in them. The trucks that were transporting the food to these places, to these restaurants, were found with human meat in them. Not only human meat, child human meat. Um, and then we have that audio from the man that apparently is one of them people um, talking about how they, they, they take 300,000 children a year. They do what they do. They use them all up. They grind them all up and then they sell them to McDonald's and they sell them to frickin' probably grocery stores. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, the, we can't let any more kids suffer. We're, we're trying to save the children. This has to be part of that. Boycott McDonald's. Do not go there. Okay? I mean, you know, don't do the research. Don't just take my word for it. Um, but yeah, that's, I wanted to get that out there because this should be being investigated right now. Like, it has to be stopped. Hashtag save the children. Um, but that's all I got for now. I wanted to get this information out there because people need to know what is happening. Um, but yeah. we will be putting up a family video later, so it won't be about this. It'll be something different, but yeah. for the kids. Um, so <coughs> make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Um, 
and bell. Hit yes, bell. make sure you hit the notification bell. So you'll get notified every time we put up a new video. Yep. Well, that's it for now. Uh, yep. Stay, stay strong, right. stay healthy, okay. stay safe. Mm -hmm. Live, laugh, love, learn, inform. Lock your door. As much as you can. Have a good day. Bye.